In this design tutorial, we're going to design an epic, authentic logo in Photoshop. So hi guys, welcome back to a brand new Photoshop design tutorial. My name is Manny and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to design this awesome authentic logo in Photoshop. So let's get right away into it. As you guys can see already, I've done already everything today and on the right hand side here I have my folder. So what I want to do is just open this folder and show you guys quickly. We have a few different design elements here also with shapes and then as well the font down here again another triangle shape and we also have the background. So let's get started right away just with a new canvas from Fresh and we can start right away. Again, I'm going to go down here, create a new layer, so basically a new empty layer. I'm going to take the marking tool, fill this up completely and hit right click, fill and we're going to fill this again with black contents. So under Use, go to Black, OK. Command D, get out of the selection. I'm working with a Mac, so if you're a Windows person, please press Control when I say Command. Now, this is our first step here, just a black background. So let me just write here Black. And as well, if you guys are completely new to canvas sizes, please have a look on the channel. I've showed another tutorial how to work with canvas sizes and presets. All right, for the next step again now, I'm going to take the background layer, which is basically just, again, some snowy mountains. I found this again on the web, a pretty cool image. And this one I'm going to drag all the way to the top. I don't want to go back to the web and find this now. Again, switch the black one on as well. I'm going to turn off the complete design and why I did a black layer underneath now is just maybe I take the background layer here and I will just de like take the opacity just down a little bit so it gets a bit darker especially if you have a white logo or design on top but in this case maybe yes mm, I'm going to leave it actually to 90% for the start and that's good enough with uh, shift on the keyboard, I'm going to take the black layer and the background, press command G, Windows people, please press control. So command G and put this in a group and this is our background now. Now we're going to get right away into the design. First of all, as usually, we're going to go to view, new guide, horizontally 50% so we can create a guideline in the center, view, new guide as well and vertical as well. 50% okay and then we have another guideline now I'm really rushing through this tutorial doing it a bit quicker please take your time when you do this so you can just do it but more concentrated okay so my next step again is going to create a shape a triangle shape for the background so let's head over to the left hand side to the custom shape tools over here and as well to the shape library and I'm gonna go all the way to the top and just search for that triangle that I have and over here we have the triangle so again as you guys can see a complete solid triangle so I'm going to select that double click on that I'm going to hold shift on the keyboard and just going to make a rough triangle over here like so okay drop it you guys can see that is filled up completely first step that I want to do now is just flip this vertically so again I'm going to go to edit transform path and flip vertically and right away it's upside down I'm going to take the move tool and literally just move that somewhere here into the center. Now I will jump back and forth a little bit just to see the sizes from my triangle to be pretty much the same as before but the process is exactly the same. Again I'm going to select the shape also the shape tool again so we can get back into the application bar and first of all at the top here I don't want to fill this up with color so select transparent and as well here stroke yes but I do want to give this a bit of a stronger stroke so maybe something around six pixels for today okay and you guys will see that will expand a little bit great that looks good so far let's maybe just take the move tool a little bit down okay into the center and I'm going to start right away now just with my text on top and then play a little bit again with the shape in the background so it's still a smart object over here so we can still resize this and work with this as the normal shape layer okay I'm going to take the text tool let's make a big nice selection over here and I'm going to put in the brand name which is now today for me just authentic okay I'm going to write authentic over here okay and we have still got the wrong font selected let's select the whole text over here and I'm going to work now with a font called intro you guys can also find that again in the description down below okay over here intro that looks pretty cool and the size I think is also good already so authentic let's have a look I'm gonna accept it quickly take the move tool 
and let's just move it over here somewhere so maybe I need to yeah it actually looks good not too bad okay so what I'm gonna do is just with text tool select it again so you guys can actually get the size which is around 35 36 pixels and as well the tracking here let's go to the character box tracking is set to zero so also if you don't have the character box please go to window character box over here Great, so that looks good. I'm going to accept it and right away I'm going to do another selection here so I can do another text. This will be again since or established or maybe HQ something or original. I'm going to go for HQ today. Select all of it. I'm going to make it a bit smaller. And now I'm going to switch back to the font that we had earlier which is again less sensation. Let's have a look here. You guys can also find that again in the description down below. So less sensation, the series or something, the series. Most probably spelled that wrong, but anyways. So that's going to be the font. I'm going to make it a bit bigger. And take the move tool. And let's move that somewhere down here. Maybe I'm going to make that a bit more bigger. So again, select it. And double that size somewhere around 34 pixels. Okay, again, move tool and move that just with my cursors into the right position. Okay, so we've got the HQ selected. Now on top, I want to add a bit of a deer horns and as well a diamond. So I went back online, Shutterstock, all these great sites, and I found again a cool example that I want to show you guys. So I've already cut that out and taken that into my Photoshop file here. Let me just bring that all the way to the top. So you guys can actually see where I got some reference from and this I'll place right on top here. So again, you guys can see it's super blurry, super bad quality. So what I've done is went back online, found pre-examples, took that into Photoshop, resized that a little bit, and now on top of that, I'm going to first of all create a shape from the deer horns here, and then as well also replicate the diamond here on top. Now I'm not going to show this whole process. If you guys want to learn how to create this custom shape, please have a look at this tutorial here, how to create your custom shapes in Photoshop, and you will be also able to create this in Photoshop. Alright, so once you've done with that process, what I did again was now obviously I've created already my first deer horn shapes. So again, I've saved those also as my defined custom shapes. Again, I'm going to go back to the shape tool over here and we're going to go to the shape library again and I've saved them all as presets here in my shape library. So you guys can see here's the horn. Okay, I'm going to select it, hold shift on the keyboard so it's equally expanding. And wait, before I do that, let me just press uh, backspace so we delete the layer. I'm going to actually turn this layer on so I have a bit of a reference here. Again, hold shift and equally expand this okay and I'm going to take the move tool and literally just move that over somewhere over here so you guys can see I replicated exactly the horns here with my pen tool with the paths and created a custom shape so have a look at that tutorial okay so I've created the first one I'm going to press command shift H to hide the outlines and I make command J to duplicate this layer and now we're just going to rotate it so again back to edit back to transform and flip horizontally okay just take the move tool and I'm literally just gonna move it over to this side again with the cursors spacing that a bit great so that's all that I've done to create the horns here again I'm gonna turn this off so I directly have the horns and please have a look at that shape tutorial as well if you're not familiar with this okay select both of these layers and just with the move tool literally just moving that bit more into the center Okay, now I do want to create again the little diamond here on the top and that's a little bit of a more of a work. So let me just make a bit of space so we can see everything. And I'm going to zoom in first of all. And what we're going to do is just create a few lines here. First of all, taking just the background layer, put that right into the center. And I'm just literally with the move tool taking down a few guidelines here from the top. And I'm placing guidelines now on every corner that we have from this diamond also here at the bottom so we can find that we need to put another guideline here from the side so first of all one over here one over here and this does take a bit of time also do this a bit more carefully I'm doing this really quick and rough again okay one over here also having a look at the distance not that equal yet okay another guideline from the top nope that was actually fine okay and one over here for this corner and one again for this corner over here great so if we just check that combine everything that should work 
So yeah, let's give it a try now. First of all, again, a new empty layer from down here. And on here, I'm just maybe going to write diamond. So we actually know what layers are going to be what layer. Okay. And as well, I'm going to go and do this now with a brush or basically pen tool, but brush as well. So first of all, go select your brush with B on the keyboard or simply here on the left hand side. And what I want to do now is press control alt together on the keyboard and just move again with my mouse left and right. So first of all, I want to change the hardness to 100%. And then as well, do you guys still remember we had from the triangle six width pixel. So what I'm going to do is as well go to the top and select around six pixels here. So look, seven. And then what I want to do is first of all draw a little bit. So that's a little bit too thick actually. Let's try six. Yeah, so actually six or five. And then I'll see five also looks good. I think five is the best. Okay, so we played around here a little bit. Let's just go back to the history in the top and we go back to name change. Great, so our brush is set now. As well, have a look that your foreground color is set to black here. And we can now take the pen tool again. I've also shown this technique before already in a tutorial. Again, pen tool. And literally just placing an anchor point of here, 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 here here and completing the path again selecting last anchor point now i'm going to select one over here over here and go all the way back again over here completing the path again now i'm going to set one anchor point of here here down here here and here and again completing the path now we have a perfect shape already with all paths here around the diamond if i'm going to go back to view clear the guides you guys will see we have a perfect shape now or path shape around the diamond. I still want to do the same for the top. So literally just go on the top here and want to select the anchor point, another anchor point and back again. And that I'll do a few more times. So also guys do take a bit more time when you do this. I'm doing this super quickly so the tutorial doesn't go too long. Okay, so we've got that. Last step that we're still going to do is turn off this layer so we can see the diamond here. And on the diamond layer, hit right click while you're in the pen tool and say stroke path. Now as well, you guys can also select pencil. I'm going to go with brush. That's why I've adjusted my brush already. Hit OK. And voila, we've already got our diamond now. Now again, with the pen tool, hit just escape so you get off these guidelines and the paths. And we can literally zoom out a little bit and we already started to create all the basic stuff for our logo here. Now, last step that we still need to do is literally just cut out again the triangle a little bit. So we can actually delete our reference as well and we can put a few elements here just with holding shift again, command G, put it in a group and I'm just going to write here element. Okay, and as well I'm going to take shape layer 3. Maybe I still want to tweak it so I'm going to just make a duplicate and work on the duplicate first and then delete again the old layer. Okay so command J, duplicate that, turn the eye off here so it's not visible and hit right click, rasterize the second layer so you can now cut out on that layer. Again take the marking tool and literally just going to make a selection here around authentic and I'm having a look here at the distance so it's pretty much the same, maybe a little bit down and hit delete. Great, so now we've already cut out that shape. Now we still need to do it here for the top, but for that I've got a little secret here. I don't want to make a straight selection here and cut that out. It should also be a little bit skew like here. So what we're going to do, super easy, to make our life also a little bit easier, we're going to take the pen tool and create a path over here and down here and literally just complete the path again, hit right click, make a selection zero feathering okay take the move tool and just nope that was wrong take the marking tool and move the selection all the way to the top I'm gonna press Z on the keyboard zoom out a little bit and take again the selection sorry the marking tool always doing the mistake here and just having a look here at the horns and hit delete again on the triangle layer Command D, get out of the selection, and we're going to repeat the process on this side. And you guys can see it's a bit skew here, so that looks a bit better. Again, pen tool, zoom in, so you can do it really precise. Again, remember, I'm doing this a bit quicker, so take a bit more time when you do this. Make a selection, zero feathering, take the marking tool, move this up, have a look that the distance is pretty much the same as over here, and hit delete once again. Okay, Command D, 
we can just take the marking tool select the centerpiece delete it as well and we're out of this you guys can obviously also do one whole path over here and just do it once i did it now a few times but anyways you guys get the point here now as well what i still want to do is just structure things a little bit back to the elements over here again shape layer four and shape four with shift and the diamond okay and i'm going to press command t to transform all and just hold shift again on the keyboard take an anchor point here and make it a bit smaller okay accept it move tool and with my cursors move that into position great so that looks cool so far i can zoom out again a little bit and we can just take elements here and as well authentic and hq and the shapes put it in a group here and i'm going to write elements one take the whole group background elements and elements command g put that again into a new group and design two so we can actually see a before and after again okay design two i'm going to just move that a bit into the center let's maybe just select these two layers here and not the main layer yeah and that's basically your design so far now what i still want to do is one last step give this a main color so maybe i'm not happy with the black color so simply a small trick is again take elements one and elements command G so you've got one final group now and now you can double click onto this group layer and you can literally go into the layer styles and say color overlay over here and you can give this a new color so say for instance maybe a dark blue which looks pretty good with the blues in the background which I've also created and made this a bit darker hit OK and okay and we are done so again this is the before and after let's maybe just take the background all the way to the bottom so we can actually see all of the effects here okay I'm gonna delete this layer and show you guys quickly my results so again this is what we've created now and this was what I've created before the tutorial so just a little bit smaller than before but pretty much the same process as well also have a look at the shape tutorial how to create your custom shapes so you know how to create these horns these deer horns yeah so that's basically it for this tutorial thanks again for watching if you have any friends who want to see something like this share it with them and as well don't forget to subscribe so thanks again for watching guys i'll see you all in the next tutorial Bye bye